poor guy coming at you. All right. I'm going to I'm going to do fried cheese curds. I have I've never done this. Okay. <clears throat> here's some cheese curds. I got these from Aldi. And here's some beer batter. And I'm going to fry them outside. I'm going to fry them on the Camp Chef. I know I do a lot of videos on the Camp Chef now. I know. But it's fun and next week I'll switch it up. I promise. It's a promise to you. <laughs> anybody cares um, and we're gonna dip it in some ranch so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting things prepared for the video but I want to show you what I what I was gonna to attempt to do I don't know how this will work I did a little bit of research on it some people will freeze these some people won't I'm gonna do this beer better but I'm gonna make it a little thinner because I saw one lady do it I don't know who she was she was very famous I think <clears throat> she just did it, made this beer batter from scratch, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to use this Louisiana seafood beer batter, which I've used before, and it's very good. Um, and uh, I'm going to dunk these in there, and I'm going to fry them outside. That's my plan. Because we've had uh, fried cheese curds before at Dairy Queen. Remember, honey? Very good. And uh, so I'm going to try and see if we can do that. I didn't want to take a thumbnail of the finished product because I want, oh, <laughs> I want everybody to stay tuned and see if it actually works. Okay. Uh, I'm going to come back and show you how I make this beer better and, and get the fryer going out there. The stuff. I just mowed a lawn. I'm tired. Okay. Peace. Here it is. Let's open this up. The entire contents of beer better. One cup of beer. We're using Yingling Lager. And I may end up using more because I think we want to get this beer batter a little thinner than it normally calls for because, you know, it's cheese that we're frying. And it should not take very long at all. Shouldn't take long at all. So if you got a nice thinner batter, that won't need to cook. Hopefully it works out. Uh, let's go ahead with this beer. It's a delicious beer if you've ever had it. Yingling. Let's stir this up. Look at the bubbles from the beer. That's fun. Beer batters. Beer batters just plain fun. Let's mix it up. So it's probably going to be a little thicker than I want it. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and add more beer, get rid of the lumps. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be too thick. <clears throat> I know this isn't a new thing, making deep fried cheese curds. I love cheese curds. Don likes them too. Yeah, we're gonna want it a little thinner than that. Let's go ahead with this. That's probably another, I don't know, a couple ounces. Who knows? <clears throat> I'll show you what. This is probably going to be good. How's everyone's day going today? Good? Good. It's Sunday. We're having a good day. Yeah. So nice and thin like that. Just enough to coat the cheese. That's all you really want from what I've learned. Typical poor guy video. I've never done this before. I did get the cheese curds. I just threw them in the freezer for a couple minutes while I was getting everything ready. I got the, the oil heating up out there in the camp chef. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and pick out the ones in here because there's some little bits and pieces. Pick out the ones that are pretty consistent sizes. Put them in another container. We're going to go ahead. We're not dipping them until we get out there. We're going to dip them and throw them in that fryer. And it shouldn't take more than a minute, I'm guessing, to, to get these to the color and hopefully the melty cheese that uh, we want. Well, come along if you dare and see how things go. Right on. Peace. Some people call me the Space Cowboy. Yeah. Some call me the Gangster. Oh. Are you recording? Yep. My bad. Here's the cheese curds.
Come on over here. And there's this. <clears throat> this batter. This beer batter. Here's some oil. It's only about an inch of oil. Because these aren't really big, right? And it was at 375. So I moved it off just so it wouldn't get too hot. Let's see how we want to do this. Let's put that there. Let's throw some of these in here. Let's just throw, what's that? Three, four, five. Let's do stick. Six of them. Let's start with six and let's get these all coated. All right. It's not rocket science. Let's get this here. And get some of that excess of batter off of there. And we'll do two at a time. Ready, everybody? Yeah. Hit it. Oh, I think those two stuck together. It'll be okay. It's like one big one big cheese curd to, to separate them. Then we got our little floaties of batter. That's not the end of the world. How many is that? Is this the last one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's stick that in there. Let's set this aside somewhere. How about there? That's not what I wanted to do, but no. let's throw two, three, four, five, six. I got some paper towels right here. Yeah, I'm going to have to replace those. I'll put those there. Put this here. Four cheese curds. All right, let's see. Those are done. See? See, that's the double one right there. It not take long. No. I don't even think it was in there for 30 seconds. I don't think. We don't know for sure if the cheese is melted. Let's go just a tiny bit longer. Look at the cheese is starting to come out of that one a little bit. So, bloop. Uh-oh, that one's a leaker. Oh, look at it. Okay. Okay. Let me get these little crusty parts out of here. But that's no big deal. This is crusty little crust, crusted things. Yeah. All right, let's go with these. Fly. Mix these up a little bit. Oh, let me move this. Okay, these little crusties. And uh, so you see what we're doing, right? You see how thin the batter is on that? It might be a little too thin. I don't. I don't really know. Yeah, but it puffs up when it's cooked. Yeah. So you see, it's probably about, how long would you say these are in here for? Like 30 seconds? Maybe a minute, maybe. Maybe a minute? Okay, a minute, everybody. That's what I, about. That's what I was trying to say, a minute. I'm going to put that in there. So I wonder if there's a way, right, to get rid of the crusties. I'm not really sure. It's not the end of the world. Because at the end of the day, we're not serving this at a restaurant. We're just going to eat it. Yeah. This one's got a lot of crusty stuck on it. Oh, boy. Look at that thing. I'm try to figure this out off camera. Maybe some tongs would oh, yeah. be better to get them out. Maybe. We'll get these fried up. We'll put them on the plate. We'll put these on a plate. And then we'll fry up the rest of them. And then we're going to try them. The cheese is leaking out on that one. They look, they look nice. Kind of. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm running into issues here. The oil's probably getting too hot. Oh, look at it. <laughs> oh, crap. This is a bloody mess. Yeah, let's put that on there. <laughs> okay all right we'll be back in a minute i got problems peace there they are that's why i didn't take a thumbnail to finish product it was a little tricky i will tell you go ahead and freeze them if you ever want to do this at home i mean it worked but even with the cheese curd sitting outside and it's 80 something degrees out it started getting too soft um the cheese was just leaking out before we could get any kind of crust on them so freeze them first lesson learned but we did manage to salvage uh, some, so let's all give them a try. What do you say? Yes. Yeah. All right, everyone grab one. Tori, you want me to give you one? Here, this is a really nice one. These are fresh in hands. Yeah, let's take one. Okay. So we ideally wanted them cooked a little bit more than this, but we also wanted to have some cheese in it. So freeze them first. Lesson learned, because I'll probably do these again, depending on the flavor. Cheers, everybody. Mmm.
That was good. Yeah, it was good. If I would have froze them, uh, they would have got a little bit crispier on the outside. Um, they're very good. I mean, you go to Dairy Queen, you grab these, they're, they're the same. Any kind of any kind of dipping sauce you prefer, you just got some homemade pasta sauce over there. We just got some Ken's Ranch, and they're good. Okay, a little tricky, freeze them first, then do it. Do it inside, it's probably a lot easier. Success, I'd say. Yeah, Very good. Yeah. The cheese is going to melt. Nope. The cheese is melty. Let me see. Yeah. The was, bigger ones are not quite as melty. Yeah, I was sitting there for a little bit, too. But they're good. They're very tasty. Yeah, they're good. All right. Pretty good video, as usual. Peace.